Okay, it's Ronink. I'm going to explain how to uh, check uh, the signature of a downloaded uh, binary that you downloaded from one of the VerusCoin.io uh, web pages. Um, first of all, I already downloaded uh, the example Virus Paper Wallet. Uh, what you'll need to do, you'll need to extract it. And you'll see here, it is extracting right now. And it extracted into a new folder. Uh, I am in my download folder right now, as you can see. And if you open that one, you see there is another uh, archive file in there. And there's also a text file there, which is called, uh, in this case, virusPaperWallet.signature.txt. If I open that text file, I see some information. I see a hash, I see a signature, and I see a signer. And in this case, uh, the signer is me. For this specific resource, it will be changed into uh, an official signer uh, from the Veruscoin Foundation. So, but for this demonstration, that's enough. What you'll need to uh, verify the origin of uh, your download is you'll need Verus Desktop and you'll need to have it running. So as you can see right now, I just started it up. It is not uh, fully running yet, it's still loading the block index. So we'll get to that later. Okay, as you see, uh, uh, it has loaded the blockchain right now. It is not fully up to sync, but in this case it's not a problem because my ID already existed on this block height. Um, if you get an identity that's new, uh, it will not register uh, properly. Uh, verify signed data in the Virus Identity tab. Uh, you don't need your own identity to sign uh, to verify the data. You will need an identity if you're going to sign the data. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, verify the file. And I'm going to choose the file. And that's, uh, let me see. I've been here already. This is the Virus Paper Wallet folder, uh, which we extracted before. This file is what I need, viruspaperwallet.zip. So I need the extracted archive, not the original archive, but the archive that was in the archive. So it's a bit double. I need that. Uh, what more do I need? It says identity or address. Enter the identity or address that signed the data above. Okay, we got that in the text file. And in this case, the signer is me, oink. Okay, oink, at. Uh, it will not check right now if uh, that data is valid, so make sure you put it in right. And we'll need the signature. I'm going to copy the signature. Copy. And I'm going to paste the signature. Paste. And I'm going to continue. Okay, signature verified. What does that mean? That means that the archive is the same archive as I uploaded, and I, or at least the owner of the ID, signed it. So you know that it is a valid archive, and you know where it came from. Now what happens if I change, okay, I'm gonna do that again. What happens if there is for any reason uh, something went wrong? Uh, let me see, uh, same archive, and I'm going to change the signature. See, I changed the signature. I, uh, yeah, okay, continue. It says, failed to verify. So that will also show you that uh, if the signature is not valid, or it may have been signed by another identity uh, that the signature is val uh, ver valid, but not for that identity, it will say failed. And then you do not have a verified download. And that's when you have to contact us in Discord. Um, the Discord link is very simple. I'll uh, show you in the description later on. So that's basically all the rest to it how to verify your download.
Thanks for watching.